Zon 2 was launched on November 30th, 1964 at 1.12pm UTC from Gagarin's start at Baikonur Cosmodrome. Launched two days after Mariner 4, it shared the same goal of flying by Mars, but lost communication in interplanetary space three months before its planned encounter during the execution of a maneuver. At a mass of nearly a ton, it was almost four times the mass of Mariner 4. Its bus, its basic structure, was similar but not quite the same as the Zon 1 mission to Venus. This bus was an improved 3MV-4A, which would also be used for Zon 3 and Venera 2. Among its scientific instruments was an infrared spectrometer to search for signs of methane. Interesting to note, considering how important the search for methane on Mars continues to be today. It was also the first spacecraft to use pulsed plasma thrusters, the simplest form of electric propulsion in space. Simplicity makes pulsed plasma thrusters cheaper than ion thrusters, but they are also energy hungry, and while still much more efficient than chemical engines, have inferior specific impulse when compared to Hall Effect ion thrusters. While it didn't succeed in its mission to transmit scientific data from the sphere of influence of Mars, it did have a close approach to the Red Planet at 1,500 kilometers. This was a testament to the accuracy of both the launch and the subsequent maneuvering, but it was let down by the communication system. This was not new for the Soviet space program, as communication had been lost with Mars 1 prior to arrival, as well as Venera 1 and Zon 1 in their approaches to Venus. Venera 2 would also lose communication. The Soviet Union would have to wait until 1971, until finally scoring a successful Mars mission with the Mars 2 orbiter, though its associated lander and rover did not succeed. The Soviets would have a better time with Venus, getting their first success with Venera 4 in 1967, five years after Mariner 2 conducted the first flyby of that planet. With that, thank you for watching this mission profile of Zon 2.